Hi dear students, in this special series on subject wise strategy, we are going to identify all the important topics that you must keep in mind before you start working on a subject. We will be looking at the trend for each subject and then mapping it to all the tasks in the app so that you can prepare better and score better. In this video, we will take a look at how to prepare for anatomy. Now, anatomy can get a little challenging because there are a lot of factual questions. There could be a lot of image based but direct questions and there could be a lot of overlap with surgery and oral surgery. Now, most of the times students find it difficult to focus on branches of arteries or branches of veins or the course of nerve or specific structures and muscle attachments. So here your target should be to focus on these volatile concepts using final stroke towards the end of your preparation. But in order to identify the areas that are trending with regards to anatomy, it's necessary to first see how much to expect from anatomy. So on an average, 14 questions are expected in anatomy. But over the past few years, we've seen a lot of variation in the distribution of questions, right? So maximum of 17 and a minimum of 7 questions can be expected plus or minus 2 questions here and there. But it's an important subject to master and it's relatively a difficult subject if you are not very confident with factual questions. Now, how do you decide which topics are more important versus which topics can be you know, taken as a second priority. For that, we will assign some questions from previous NEET MDS exams to these topics on my left. And while doing that, we will realize which topics are more commonly asked. So let's start with parathyroid and the development is from the fourth brachial pouch. First, pharyngeal pouch gives rise to auditory tubes. So the uh, different structures which are derived from different pharyngeal arches and pouches are important. Injury to tyrion gives, uh, affects the middle meningeal artery. Skin over the angle of mandible is supplied by greater auricular nerve. So that goes to the nerve supply. Then we have an image based question of thyroid and we have to identify the muscle A. It could be any muscle. So you must know the anatomy in and around the thyroid gland. This is also equally important from a surgical point of view. In this question, it is sternohyoid. Then uh, after thyroid surgery, the most common complication is uh, injury to the recurrent laryngeal nerve. Identify the radiopic bulge marked in the arrow. So that's aortic arch. Lower motor neuron of the facial nerve causes ipsilateral half of facial paralysis. So as you can see, they are getting allotted to their specific topics. Killian's dehiscence is present in laryngopharynx. Now, you can also look at the explanations associated with each question. And there is a key concept that could be an illustration, a table, a chart that makes it easier to remember. Make sure you take down notes from these explanations as and when you feel necessary. Or you can also watch the explanatory video. Now in the video, you will come across more information on the same topic and you will be able to solve a lot of questions based on that knowledge. Plus you will also get the knack of how to eliminate options. So MCQ videos are very important when it comes to preparing for a subject like anatomy. Right, then the next question is a young swimmer had an external ear infection. During otoscopy, patient coughs on irritation, which of the following nerve is affected? So as you can see, a lot of nerve related questions are coming up. Coffin corner is retromolar trigone. Non-disjunction of maternal chromosome, so that's embryology. Ensa cervicalis supplies sternohyoid, so that goes to muscles of head and neck. Unilateral paralysis of recurrent laryngeal nerve causes hoarseness of voice. This is an identical question to the one we saw earlier. Retinal cells are glued together by Müller cells. Correct site for intramuscular injection. Then again, questions on trigeminal nerve. Upper lobe of kidneys related to which rib? A cardiac patient had difficulty in swallowing. The right, the left atrium is dilated. Which of the following structures are being compressed? So that's thorax. 
Then there's a long case based question on auriculo temporal nerve and parotidectomy. Structures passing through the gland, the nerves associated with glands are important. Pharyngeal pouch is an extension of Killian dehiscence. We saw the similar question earlier. Which of the following is not a branch of third part of maxillary artery? Very important artery. Abduction of vocal cords is caused by posterior cricothyroid. That's larynx. Then origin of tongue and all the perioral structures are important. Organ of corti is a part of scala media. Then histology of smooth muscle. Then an image of lung and identification of structures. Then there's a question on identification of plane, which is denoted in the picture. You must know these planes to be able to correlate a lot of structures, right? Then development of pre-maxilla. Now this question can also fit in uh, orthodontics in growth and development. So you will see a lot of overlap within the subjects. Then ligaments of the liver. This is a falciform ligament. So we'll put that in thorax and abdomen. Muscles of pharynx, which will be assigned in mouth and pharynx. Then identification of lingula. Then post appendicectomy, which of the following nerve injury is common? Epithelial lining of esophagus, histology. It is stratified squamous, non-keratinized epithelium. Then again, simple cuboidal epithelium, image-based question. Fibrous cartilage, image-based question. So as you can see, now in this NEAT MDS 2020, there are a lot of histology questions, which were not actually the trend in the previous papers or the subsequent papers. So in some years, you can find a lot of variation within the questions and you should be prepared for them too. Then infection from maxillary teeth spreads to infraorbital region via levator anguli oris muscle. Non-union of lateral nasal process will lead to oblique facial cleft. Cleft is also discussed under anatomy, uh, or orthodontics, surgery, pediatric dentistry. So make sure that you have knowledge to all of this uh, content. Then dilator and sphincter pupillae are derived from neuroectoderm, that's embryo. Then where would you be able to palpate this artery? This is maxillary artery, temporal branch. Aneurysm of internal carotid artery within the cavernous sinus will affect the abducent nerve. Vein commonly used for intravenous injection is median cubital. Identify the frontenal formed at the junction of coronal and sagittal sutures, anterior frontenal. This question is repeating earlier. We saw a schematic image of where to uh, use intramuscular injection, the best site. So this is a repeat question. Then cerebellum and Purkinje cells. Then patient with a history of trauma to the eye and which of the nerves would be affected if the left visual field is affected. So nerves, Brunner's gland found in duodenum. Placenta related questions, embryology, it is formed by chorion frondosum and decidua basalis. Pears patches, small intestine, abdomen. Lingual nerve is the major sensory branch of posterior division of mandibular nerve. So nerve and their branches, especially in the head neck face region. Okay, So mandible, its relations in regards to muscles, arteries, veins, nerves, attachments, all of them. In and around maxilla, mandible, pharynx, very important. Which muscle causes depression of mandible? See, muscles of mastication, very important. Resting oocyte after primary meiosis stage normally rests in prophase. So that's genetics and embryology. Then the next question is ostium of maxillary sinus. Now this question also fits in DA. Which of the following is not a tributary of the internal jugular vein? So all except anterior jugular vein. Cartilage of epiglottis is elastic in origin. 
मसल्स ऑफ टंग इट्स अ रिपीट क्वेश्चन आर डिराइव फ्रॉम ऑक्सीपिटल सोमाइट्स एम्ब्रियो बेल्स पाल्सी अकर्स ड्यू टू इंफ्रा न्यूक्लियर लीजन ऑफ फेशियल नर्व ऑल्सो सीन दिस क्वेश्चन कैन ऑल्सो अपियर विद रिगार्ड्स टू ओरल पैथ कॉमन साइट फॉर इंट्रामस्क्यूलर इंजेक्शन आइडेंटिकल क्वेश्चन विद इमेज वॉज आस्ट अर्लियर हियर द मसल इज आस्ट सो डेल्टॉइड Stenson's duct, salivary gland is important. It opens at the upper second molar. Which of the following is not a tributary? Again, same question of the internal jugular vein. Here the options are different. So inferior thyroid vein, right? So remember the tributaries of internal jugular vein and the course of this vein because it's an important vein in the HNF region. Which of the following is not a branch of third part of maxillary artery? So parts of maxillary artery. you must know go through the explanation go through the table go through the video explanation embryonic mesoderm is formed from yolk sac embryo intrinsic laryngeal muscles are derived from which brachial arch so that's pharyngeal arches passivens ridge is made of palato pharynges kilian's dehiscence third time so you must know kilian's dehiscence in detail which is in larynx right which of these is a tributary of internal jugular vein earlier the questions were which of the following are not the tributaries here the options are is a tributary so remember the branches which of the following passes through the vena cava opening of the diaphragm openings in diaphragm are important all are true regarding trigeminal nerve except trigeminal nerve in and out has to be known no second thoughts Safest site for intramuscular injection in case of children is vastus lateralis, right? Lot of explanation here. Look at the key concepts. Remember the key concepts. And last question: most common site for intramuscular injection in case of adults. This is again a repeat question. Deltoid. So there are lot of questions pertaining to thorax and abdomen as such, but thorax and abdomen is a very big. Uh, segment of anatomy and to be able to focus specifically on what areas of thorax and abdomen is critical so you will find all the important questions regarding uh, each of these topics in the tasks within anatomy so first let us analyze the outcome of our experiment that we try to uh, assign these questions to the topics and we see that a lot of questions appear for firstly from thorax and abdomen from embryology and all the structures in and around the mouth so larynx pharynx trigeminal facial nerve and nerve supply of head and neck and arterial supply of head and neck so everything around the face is important everything around the mouth is important and embryology the development pharyngeal pouches and the initial part of development is all very important Now with this information how do you make use of your meritors app so when you open anatomy tasks in your app you will come across all these topics which we've just seen and you have the option to prepare them and then take a test or you can also practice your questions now let's take a look at one of these say for example nerve supply of head and neck right so you will see there is trigeminal facial and all the other nerves similarly within arterial supply you will see different types of arteries so you have the vascular supply arterial and venous supply so what happens is while you are preparing make sure that you read the different notes that is workbook and bites go through the tables go through the charts look at the illustrations these images are very interesting because they are picked from all standard textbooks so make sure that you are making good use of your workbooks at this time get color pictures registered in your mind because it gives a good visualization especially in anatomy it's necessary to have good visualization and good pictures so look at these illustrations right watch the videos which are associated which are attached to these bites and workbooks and with that you will be able to have a sound knowledge of that topic then you can practice questions and take test but it is necessary that you do this for each and every task to be able to master the subject from the beginning
and now i will tell you how to maximize your preparation with meritus app now there are five things to keep in mind when you start your preparation for any subject at any given point of time number 1 is to start with tasks like i said tasks are the building blocks they are your foundation and fundamental for any subject you need to start preparing for the task with the workbook you you must look at the video if you have any doubts regarding the topic and then practice questions and then you can take the test now whenever you are taking a test or practicing questions each question comes with the answer explanation and key concept the explanation will be elaborate it will tell you everything that you need to know about the topic it is a good source of taking down notes because a lot of additional questions can be asked from the existing explanations right and if you are well versed with the topic you can just look at the key concept and reinforce the topic in your mind additionally a lot of questions also come with multiple choice question videos which are explanatory videos they are going to talk about how to eliminate options how to strategically focus on the question and additional knowledge that comes with the topic so your first aim should be to complete all these tasks for a given subject and then move on to the next thing that is q bank now q bank or question bank is a collection of high yield extensive questions they are clubbed together in uh, topics they are clubbed together chapter wise and you will have more hands on experience on difficult and extensive preparation on these questions again they will come with explanatory videos explanations and key concepts so once your tasks and q bank for a given subject are complete you are good to appear for the weekly checkpoint tests now the tests are of two types in the app one is the weekly checkpoint test and self paced test i'll tell you about the weekly checkpoint test first so suppose if you are preparing one subject over the week then at the end of the week you will have a test which is going to focus on that specific subject plus the subjects that were previously prepared right so that kind of snowballs the entire revision strategy you will have a repeated encounter of multiple subjects from time to time so you do not forget it's easier to keep these topics in mind when you constantly see them so the revision is reinforced plus you also get personalized ai recommendations right so at the end of your test based on your performance you will get how many questions you answered what was the score how much was the negative marking where are you lacking what are your stronger points and then it will tell you how much time to dedicate for a revision of your weaker subjects so with this strategy you will be able to focus on specific areas that are your weaknesses now that is an exceptional feature of meritus app and the next set of test is self paced test which you can take at any given point of time these are subject wise test you can also have cumulative tests multiple recall questions also incorporated in form of tests and towards the end of your preparation phase you will have a lot of volatile factual high yield questions uh, in form of final strokes which are again specialized test to be able to remember these topics clearly before the exam now once you come closer towards the end of your preparation you will have access to this special feature of the app called marathon this is activated towards the end of your preparation where you will have 3500 plus high yield questions high yield questions meaning they have the chances to uh, be seen in the exam because either they are based on recall questions or because they are based on important concepts that are repeatedly seen in the exam so when you practice these 3500 plus questions you will also enter an all india competition where you will get a fair idea as to how your performance is with comparison to your colleagues it's a great boost of confidence if you take it at the right time and lastly we have the all famous national mocks which is a pan india or all india nation wide uh, simulation of neat mds exam we conduct them uh, towards the end of your preparation in a few months to go and every weekend you will have access to this special test you will see a lot of new questions in national mocks uh, which are based on important topics so do not miss national mocks because it gives you a good hands on experience of the exam it gives you an idea of time management because this is exactly according to neat pattern that is 240 questions and 3 hours with negative marking so you you kind of get a very fair and square idea of your performance because this is again an all india competitive uh, mock exam and you will get personalized ai recommendations here as well now they are more important for uh, national mocks too 
because uh, towards the end when you are revising you will not know which subject to pick up at what time and your performance in the national mock will be assessed thoroughly and you will get your ai recommendations which will tell you which subjects to revise so make sure that you are making use of all of these features in the app now apart from that if there is any query that you have while solving your questions if you have any doubts regarding any topics you can always contact the faculty on the whatsapp group we are always here to help you and i hope with this in mind you will be able to channelize all your preparation strategy in the right direction and i hope we'll be able to help you achieve your dream seat in mds thank you so much and good luck from team meritors